back again. Thankfully, we're always getting work and always staying busy. If you guys didn't believe that we work on vets, so here's more proof. A lot of C5s, to be honest. Uh, I like C6s, C5s, C4s, New Zealand 6s, uh, C7s. But a lot of the ones that need work are the older ones. So this car came in for uh, basic stuff, which is just kind of gaskets, intakes, uh, window issue. Um, customer talked into uh, go ahead and getting a cam, some push rods, aftermarket lifters, lifter trays, head gaskets, stuff like that. So we're going to put a Torque V2 in this. For now, we're going to keep the exhaust stock, see how it sounds, see how it runs. Likely going to have to do headers here soon. But car already came with uh, some really nice uh, silicone hoses. It's a good upgrade on these cars, the silicone hoses. These uh, engine bays get super hot and the factory hoses get real soft and they start to tear easily, start to leak, starts to sweat. Silicone hoses are a major upgrade. Air intakes are also a really good upgrade. This one has a stock system. Um, headers, just keeping them clean. Unfortunately, these cars, they have a really tight space between the balancer and the rack and pinion. So a cam swap requires the rack and pinion to come out and up out of the way to clear the balancer, to take the timing cover off, to take the cam out. So we're going to get into all that while we're there. It's a old car, so we're not going to do a cam without lifters. So we're going to go ahead and do lifters, lifter trays, head gaskets, head bolts. So he starts fresh and we didn't get no ticks, no knocks or anything like that. Should be about a two, a two day job. I like to take my time and clean the parts while they're off. So we'll go ahead and try to record the process as much as possible. Hang out with us guys. Okay, we got the hood off, the front accessories off. Got the rack and pinion loosened up, just got to take off the tie rod end so we can maneuver it out of the way for the balancer to clear. Coil packs are off, intake's about to come off. So we can start pulling the cam, pulling the heads, replacing the lifters. There's all the parts. Some of these we're gonna clean up. Um, trying to see if we can replace the water pump just because of age, clean all this, clean all these, so the neck all, take all the dirt off. Usually uh, when you take off the valve covers, you take off the intake, you can kind of see the life or the condition of the motor. If it's really worn out or used a lot. All right, intake is off. Doesn't look too bad, really clean. You can tell the surface here. It's real nice and clean and then the runners aren't that dirty so it's good news parked in the under a tree or something for a while or maybe just never sat indoors but it's got a little uh, i guess grass but that's no big deal it's not in the engine it's just there so we vacuum all that up clean it up before we pull the heads got to pull the balance rod crank pull the off uh, the cam and start changing everything pull the manifolds off too but other than that, everything seems to be going pretty good. Just keep on going. Okay, we got to the point where the heads are coming off. Still haven't tackled pulling the rack. It's loose. It's all ready to come out. It's just I hate I'm dealing with power stream fluid leaking all over the place. So I'll just make that the last thing I do. I'll pull the balancer off, pull the timing cover. But <clears throat> cylinder walls seem pretty good. Not bad, no ridge, of course. Head gaskets, I don't know if these come factory or not. A lot of people say they do, a lot of people say they don't, but one thing's for sure is they suck. These are like a, uh, like a paper, metal mesh. It doesn't, they don't come off clean. As you can see, there's a lot of material still on the, on the block that I gotta uh, take off. So these are going in the trash. We've got all the stuff mostly taken apart except for the cam stuff but heads are one head is off it's pretty clean inside so gotta change the springs on those 
clean the head real good, clean the surface real good, clean the block real good, pull the timing cover, degrease all the front of the engine there and put new lifters, new lifter trays, pull the cam out, put the new cam in and go backwards and see uh, if we can get done here in the next day or so. I don't really work very fast. I hate breaking bowls or stripping things, so I take my time. There's no need for a rush. Like the customer said, he's working. He doesn't need the car right now. I'll take my time. It's exactly what I do. So make sure every bolt comes out clean. Take a, spend good time cleaning the surfaces. <clears throat> inside every single one of these uh, bolts, the little holes I like to clean inside there. Make sure that there's no more residue, antifreeze or old um, Loctite from the original bolts in there. So when everything goes in new, it goes in smooth. Um, we'll see how the cam comes out, how the cam bearings look. I'm not too worried. The engine's pretty, pretty clean for the mileage. Um, it seems like uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The general maintenance on it was done pretty good. You could tell the color of the block here. It's not brown like the lifter trays. It's actually very clean. So actually you can get a good view of the, the quality of the block by looking at the head so you see the uh the casting the aluminum casting is very clean and the oil of course you know we're gonna do an oil change but no gunk no build up very clean so i'm i'm, assume, I'm sure that the rest of the motor is just like that so we'll just prep everything real nice and clean and, and go backwards here in just a bit all right so the cam is out it looks okay it's not bad. Engine's pretty clean. I'm gonna put the new cam in already. I'll start going backwards here, putting the timing chain, the new sprocket. Um, clean the timing cover, put the new gaskets back on, clean the block around the top here, and then uh, clean the surface, put the new gaskets, and hopefully have this thing started by tonight. Get it tuned tomorrow and ready for the customer to pick it up. All right, got the cam back in, the sprocket, the chain, got the new lifters, lifter trays, head gaskets on, surface is clean. Right now, no, he's just working on cleaning the heads. He did this one, came out pretty good. So I'm just gonna change the springs on this one, put the, the new springs for the cam, and then I'm gonna take off all the extra gasket stuff and prep this thing to go back on, put the new head bolts in. Keep on keeping on. Okay, the car's all put back together, cleaned up everything pretty good. Scrubbed everything down, degreased, washed. Uh, fluids are topped off, antifreeze is topped off. All the sensors are plugged in, coil packs, injectors. We're gonna start it, see how it, see how it sounds, if it idles even. We got still gotta tune it.
it's good. Just got to go take it to the muffler shop, put the exhaust uh, back together, weld it back together, and uh, put the hood on it and take it to get tuned. Let's see what it does and get the car cleaned up. All right, so we just brought the car here to Tenorio's shop here in San Juan or Rolongoria, just south of uh, Nolana. It's a hundred Rolongoria. It's a great shop, man. This guy, real nice people, excellent welds. He did our welds on a uh, on my dad's Chevelle, and it came out extremely amazing. Top quality welds, no popcorn crap. Brought the Corvette here. He's gonna pretty much make a pipe. Just to close off, we're not gonna do headers yet. Make a pipe just to close off from here to that uh, exit, and that's it. It should sound good. It's got stock mufflers, so stock mufflers to the back. He didn't want it too loud, and I don't blame him. Headers make these cars extremely loud, but they're gonna take care of us today, and we'll see how it sounds afterwards. And then in the morning, take off to go get it tuned. All right, got the car done. It should be a lot quieter, man. It was uh, pretty loud. It just opened opened up like that, so it should be quieter and a little bit more fun to drive back to the shop. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'll turn it off, turn it back on. Yeah. All right, let's get to the shop. Yeah, it sounds real good. It just uh, no cutouts and stock mufflers. It sounds real good. Just need to tune it up. And get Josh to do his magic. Get this thing running good and sounds good. Sounds nice. A lot better than I expected. Awesome. heading out to Josh's this morning just called him said he's ready for us so get over there and put the car in the dyno and um, see what kind of numbers it gets we're not really looking for power uh, the only reason we use the dyno a lot is it's unsafe trying to dyno on the street trying to um, floor it on the street I don't like to do that uh, also if anything happens it's there in the shop you know we're not stranded another thing is also cops breaking speed limits uh, the only thing we do on the street if anything is drivability but that's just regular driving making sure that when we come to stops it doesn't turn off it doesn't misfire it doesn't overheat but as far as flooring it and making sure that the that the car is clean we do everything on um, on the dyno Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're 
Lee Me Josh's. Good turnout. Car made right at about what I guessed, about 350. And uh, it's on pump gas, so we kept it chill on the timing, didn't overdo it. He drives this car every time he's back in town. And he likes to drive it everywhere, so we didn't want to go crazy and a lot of timing and a lot of fuel. So he's able to run pump gas or 93, whichever he prefers. But car's good. Made exactly what I expected. And we're going to go back, it's starting to drizzle, go back to the shop, get the car cleaned up, washed, and turn it in for him. Okay, we just did a little test run to see if the compound that he's using is gonna be able to cut the haze away. So here you can see the haze on the car. And then this is the little spot he buffed. And there's a the tape line. Got rid of the haze quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and just continue, finish up the top of the car. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's all over the top. He already brought the car like that. But I want to take care of it for him and make sure that uh, he doesn't get the car back like that. All right. All right, we're getting to the final part of the car, which is the halo above the <clears throat> above the car between the windshield and the rear window. All that haze is gone. I don't know what it was. It looked like something spilled and dried and the sun baked it and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know what it was, but be able to get it off and bring that shine back. And it looks really good paint looks deep very clean i think all that's left is just to clean up the windows and give the car a quick wax and uh, so it'll seal but big difference it's been about about an hour and a half two hours of actual work this is a package we do offer for customers cars that would like to get a detail before we turn them in you just We'll talk about them uh, whenever you bring your car. And if you want to do, if you don't have work, like uh, for us to do work, we still offer the service. Uh, you just have to set up an appointment, drop off the car, and then uh, we'll give you our rates when when, uh, when you come in and talk with us. But looks good. Mind the mess. But got the car all finished up. And it looks good. My favorite part's the hood because that was the most noticeable. It's such a large piece with all this terrible haze. And uh, man, you got it all off. Got the fenders cleaned up. Got the door cleaned up. It was all faded here on the door. The trunk was all faded up. Got it all nice and clean. That looks really good. Super happy. The halo is done. Wow. Well, that'll do it for this week's video 
see under the engine bay. I haven't seen much of it. Oh yeah, nice and clean. We try our best, try to be different from everybody else. We, we take pride in working on these cars and we appreciate every customer that comes in. So we try to take care of them. It doesn't, it doesn't take but just a little bit more time to do it right, do it clean. And that's what we're all about. This is why we opened the shop and this is why we uh, love to help customers out. But any questions you guys have, you're more than welcome to message the Facebook Hub City Hot Rods page or Instagram Hub City Hot Rods page. You can also comment here on the video. I always try to go through the comments and reply to everybody. We appreciate feedback. We don't we don't get upset about uh, comments uh, or anything like that. We just love the engagement. We love to talk to you guys. Thank you for hanging around for this uh, long video. It's probably the longest video I've made so far, but other than that, I had fun. So this was fun. Got a couple more Corvettes coming in this year for a cam. The yellow one might be coming back for a cam, and the black one for sure is going back for a cam. Uh, we're gonna keep keep going as we as we bring them in. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.